everyone, it's Sarah, and today I have a new to me house of fragrances to share with you. So um, I've been seeing this house around for a while now, and I got the opportunity to request these fragrances or these, yeah, to request that these be sent to me um, so that I could give them a test. And I am so excited to share these with you today because there are two in here that I'm like absolutely obsessed with and these are really nice fragrances. So the house that I'm talking about is a house called Lake and Sky and I want to say that I read that this was a clean perfume brand but they perform so well I'm like questioning that now. Um, I'll definitely do some more research and I will put it up on the screen here for you and let you know but you guys, I have got two new absolute obsessions from testing these. One, I'm gonna have to buy a full bottle like ASAP, especially for the winter time. But anyways, so I was able to request these products and they sent over, um, they sent over a full bottle of this fragrance called Midnight 07. They sent over a roller ball, and this is the this is the fragrance 1111, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. And they also sent over a discovery kit, so I was super excited. Um, and this discovery kit comes with four fragrances. And when I tell you guys that there is something different about these fragrances, there is something different about them. Um, for the first time in a long time, I am actually able to like pick out notes in these. I can smell things like so distinctly and I love it. It's like, I don't know. I haven't experienced that with fragrances for so long. I like didn't realize what I was missing until I got my nose on these. But um, let's start with the full bottle. Let's start with this one called Midnight 07. Um, these come in beautiful boxes. They're kind of like a book where you just open up the cover here. And yeah, it comes, this is actually like um, attached. And yeah, and then you've got your bottle of perfume in here. It comes with this ribbon that you can, that you pull to like kind of help you get your bottle out. And yeah, and there's your little perfume. And this is like a really nice heavy bottle um, I love how it looks. I just think it's such a pretty, yeah, I just think it's such a pretty simple, like apothecary almost style looking bottle. I don't know. There's something really nice about it. Ugh. This reminds me of something I'll tell you guys when we get there. But so Midnight is beautiful. Midnight is Yuzu, Vetiver, Amber, Rose, Fig, Vanilla, and Patchouli. Yes, these are clean fragrances. These are all made with organic sugarcane alcohol. They're vegan and cruelty free. They are free of parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. So yes, they are clean. And I thought that they were, but I was like, these things perform so well. I I mean, because usually, you know, you think of clean perfumes, you think of Pacifica, um, and they last all of like, you know, an hour. Holy crap, you guys. I sprayed this on my hand as soon as I got in the mail, and five hours later, I could still smell it on my on the top of my hand, even after I had washed my hands. When I wore this, Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so beautiful. You can smell the rose and the fig. When this dries down on your skin, you get a load of vanilla. It's really hard for me to explain. When I, when I wore this, I just had such an experience with it because I've not, I don't know that I've ever worn a fragrance that has notes like rose and fig and amber and vanilla and for the vanilla to be such a prominent note in the fragrance but that's how this is like when you wear this you can smell all of the different notes and the vanilla is so prominent it doesn't get drowned out by the fig and the rose and these really you know powerhouse kinds of notes 
it doesn't drown out the vanilla, which I don't know that I've ever had that happen where I could actually smell the vanilla without it just being a slightly sweet quality or a slightly creamy quality. It's incredible. This fragrance is so freaking good. If you guys remember, and I'm talking this is probably, I don't know, maybe the early 2000s when Bath & Body Works had a I would say early to mid 2000s. Gosh, and the patchouli in this is so good too. Like you can smell everything, but that vanilla is, it's like a vanillic patchouli. It's, oh my gosh. But anyways, um, Bath and Body Works had a fragrance called, I want to say it was called like Midnight Pomegranate or something like that. This smells like a way high-end version of that fragrance. Like if you, and this is like back when Bath & Body Works was still really good, everything was really strong and, you know, just really vibrant, which they pale in comparison to what they used to be now. This smells like a way high-end version of that Midnight Pomegranate scent that was so stunning. Oh my gosh, you guys, but I cannot stress to you enough how awesome it is to be able to smell all of the notes. I mean, it's so good. This thing is an absolute beast. This, I got, I mean, I easily got eight hours out of this, but this is one of those that once you spray it on, it's not going anywhere until you wash it off. Um, it's so good. Anyways, it's just an incredible fragrance. Like I don't have anything in my collection like this. Um, I will put on the screen if they've got, um, I'm quite sure that you can buy samples. So I will definitely have everything listed in the description box for you. And I will put it on the screen if you can pick up samples of these. I'm quite sure you can. This is so good, you guys, though. This is like, this is like the perfect fall winter fragrance it's such a beautiful sweet dark um rose and patchouli and fig it's so good you guys it's so good so anyways that is the first one that is called midnight 07 it is an eau de parfum it is an absolute beast of a fragrance and i fell head over heels in love with that one too okay next let's talk about this roller ball yeah let's talk about this roller ball because i'm absolutely obsessed <laughs> with this fragrance so it just comes in this pretty like tube uh, it's just a pretty cardboard tube really really nice and then you pull this up and here's your big roller ball this is a lot of oil this is 10 mil of oil which will last a good long time this thing is an absolute beast too and oh my gosh this is like a it's like a beautiful clean white musk but there's something just a little bit different about it so i just want to read you the little description of this one because oh my gosh it is so, so good. I'm obsessed with this. Charlotte is obsessed with this. We've both been wearing it. You can see I've already gone through, like between Charlotte and I, we've already put a little tiny dent in this and I just got these. But I am, we are both obsessed with this fragrance. It's not, I don't want it to seem like it's groundbreaking. It is like a beautiful white musk fragrance, but there's something different about this. There's something just slightly different about this. This is also unisex. I think it leans a little bit feminine, but man, this would smell incredible on a man. And he wouldn't smell like a woman either. He would smell so clean and gorgeous. Oh my gosh, maybe I'll see if I can get this on my husband. He probably won't let me, but I'm going to try. God, I'm obsessed with this. Okay. It says, 1111 is a simple yet bold unisex blend inspired by the teachings of Kundalini Yoga and the color white. Combining a musky blend of white ambers, it is a sheer, clean, and uplifting fragrances with an ethereal vibe. So yeah, it's... It's like a super clean white musk fragrance, but what the the combination of that with the white ambers, 
is so good. I also think if you're somebody that likes that kind of clean white musk scent, I think this is a beautiful, safe blind buy. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this fragrance. Charlotte and I are gonna run through this roller ball. I'm so I've got a little um, I've got a little sample of it too in this little discovery kit. So I'm really excited to put on the uh, oil and then spray the the perfume over it. I want to see how it layers and if it lasts long. Even though this is a beast, um, I put this on. Gosh, I want to say I put this on at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon after it came, and I could still smell it when I woke up the next morning. And I woke up, I think I woke up at 6.30 the next morning, um, and it was still going strong. I could still smell it. It was beautiful. It was on my clothing. It was just, like, enveloping me. Oh, my gosh. If you guys are looking for, like, one of the best white musk fragrances I've ever smelled, here it is, 1111, and it really is one of the best white musks I've ever smelled. It's so good. So anyways, that is 1111, and that is the oil. And then, and then they sent this little discovery kit, and I love this. Yeah, it came with another little paper on top, and it says, Modern and Conscious Beauty Designed to Elevate and Enhance the Everyday. Um, so here's the little card that has all of the fragrances. You guys, there's one in here that I am obsessed with. I'm going to have to buy a full bottle. In fact, as soon as I get done filming this, I'm going to look and see about buying a full bottle of it because I need it. Um, okay, so the first one again is 1111. That's the beautiful white musk. I haven't even, um, I haven't even sprayed this one because I've been using the oil. Oh my gosh, it's a little bit more, um, the spray form is a little bit more masculine smelling, but not, it's not like masculine. It's definitely more unisex smelling. The spray version is a little bit warmer. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. I'm going to have to look at a full bottle of that too. Oh my gosh, this is like the white t-shirt of all fragrances. This is like... This is something that I could smell like, I, like I could smell like this every day for the rest of my life and I would be perfectly happy because it's so like simple and pleasing to my nose and so clean. Gosh, I love it. So anyways, that is 1111. I'm like obsessed with that fragrance. Okay, um, the next one is... This one is called Echo Lake. Now, these ones I have tested on my skin. I have tested all of them. This one is gorgeous. This one called Echo Lake is, it says individual bright, the perfect balance of floral and woody with notes of bergamot, juniper, and sandalwood. A distinctive and unisex fragrance which defies norms. And it is, it's gorgeous. It's like a really, really bright citrusy, like woody fragrance. The bergamot note in this is so beautiful and distinct. A lot of times you smell bergamot, but it's not, um, it's kind of a nondescript citrus that is used so, so much in perfumery that I think we almost either forget or don't even know what bergamot actually smells like. And it's so distinct in this fragrance. And then the, the juniper really starts to come out as the bergamot starts to settle. The juniper really jumps out. But it's super clean and fresh. It's juniper without smelling like a tree or without smelling like sap. It's just this really beautiful, very clean kind of sharp, but sharp in a good way. <sighs> Fragrance. This one is definitely unisex, like anybody could wear this. It's stunning. This is another one. I'm gonna have to try to get this on my husband. 
It's so, so good. Do I need a full bottle of this one? No, not like I need a full bottle of the others, but it's still stunning. If you're looking for just a really beautiful, um, like unisex smelling, bright, clean, citrus, and yeah, like woody fragrance, you would love it. It's so good. Okay, the next one, I was so excited to smell this one because I'm like, you know, I love my rose fragrances. This one is called Canyon Rose. Oh, this one is so, so good. So Canyon Rose says, a modern rose inspired by the spirit of the desert. This warm floral combines rose petals, combines rose petals, geraniums, and vanilla for an unexpected intoxicating take on a tradition. And it does smell, it does smell super modern. I almost get, it does give you like desert feels too. There's something in the top of this though that feels like a berry. Yeah, there's something in this. I'll have the notes on the screen for you, of course. I feel like there's some kind of a berry in the top. I'm getting some, I'm getting like a berry vibe. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous though. This is one of the most unique smelling rose fragrances I've ever smelled. This one, if this had done better with my skin chemistry because it just, it didn't work great. Like it didn't smell bad on me, but it was one of those situations where I was like, if this, if my, if this was like singing with my skin chemistry right now, it would be so stunning, but it wasn't. It just wasn't, um, it wasn't bad, but it just wasn't clicking like it should. And if it were, I would have bought a bottle of this yesterday, but it just, it didn't do great with me, but it is a stunning, very unique, very modern rose fragrance. There's something in this. When I, when I look up all the notes and I've got them on the screen for you, I'll, I'll put it up there like what it is that I'm smelling. Oh, it's so beautiful. As this dries down, the rose really starts to come out. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna have to give this someone another good wear test um, because I did only spray that on my hand. I'm wondering what it'll be like if I spray it all over like normal. I'm definitely gonna do that because it's so beautiful, like so beautiful. This is one of those fragrance houses that it's like you want every single one of them because they're all good. Um, this next one, though, I am absolutely obsessed with. This next one is called Cote du, Par uh, Cote du Paradis. And, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this. This is the one that I'm going to be buying a full bottle of, like, ASAP. Holy cow, it is so good. Okay, Cote du Paradis is, it says, reminiscent of the French Riviera's endless summers. Cote du Paradis is effortless and optimistic, a warm, woody gourmand fragrance featuring notes of Palo Santo, almond, tonka bean, and vanilla. Every single one of those are notes that I absolutely adore. This is another one where, like, you've got all of these notes in it, but you can actually still smell the vanilla. It's not, the vanilla does not get drowned out by everything else, but you can smell everything. You can smell the almond, you can smell the tonka bean, you can smell the vanilla. It is so yummy. I love this fragrance. Like this is one, like I said, as soon as I get done filming this, I'm getting on their website to buy a bottle of this because I have to have this, especially for this time of year. Oh my gosh, it is so, so good. Ah, oh, amazing. So anyways, that one is called Cote du Paradis. And I, I am obsessed with this and I am obsessed with 1111. Like those are my two favorites hands down, like have to have them. So anyways, guys, that is a house called Lake and Sky. I've been seeing them all over the place. I was so excited when I saw that I could sample them. So yeah, I'm gonna link everything in the, in the description box for you. I'm sure this discovery kit is available. I would definitely recommend this amazing discovery kit because you can smell all of these amazing fragrances. 
Oh, I love it so much. Like, and it's funny because I didn't know what to think. I, I saw clean and I thought, oh, they probably won't last very long. Boy, was I wrong. They're so, so good. I'm so happy that I have these. So anyways, you guys, that is uh, Lake and Sky. I do hope that you guys found this helpful. If you've been seeing around, seeing them around too and just didn't know, um, I hope that this is helpful for you. I do hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.